Hey yo, what's good, new game? Today I'm gonna react it to Timeless Tim getting your hairline pushed back. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, puppy boys, 20k subscribers for more. Y'all see what the hell going on? Just dropped, you know what I'm saying? But well, let's get it, man. Hey, if y'all ever get your, if y'all ever had your hairline pushed back, let me know down below. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let's get it. Oh, you already done, kid. So I was like, what you mean we done? You got a mirror? See, here's the thing. I kind of pushed your hairline a little. Oh, no, 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 no. What you mean a little? <laughs> Just a tiny bit. But fam, no one's going to notice it. Trust me. So I turned around, looked in the mirror. Damn. You can already tell. Trust me. So I turned around, looked in the mirror. Nah, that nah, bro. That's tough. That's tough. Damn. If there's one thing that all men are insecure about, it's their hairline. See, the hairline Cracks. represents youth, looks, and most of all, confidence. See, when you let a barber cut your hair, you, my God, are putting your life into his hands. A true <laughs> test of... <laughs> yo, yo, facts, bro. That ass, your life is in their hands, bro. The faith in nothing hurts more. That's nothing crazy. cuts deep. And a pushback hairline. Mm. See, it's one thing if God takes it all away. But having a man push back your cut, ooh, wait. But I feel you, damn, Tim. Is the cut really that important? Oh, you best believe. See, in life, you can go from having a. This man drew a fade. He animated a fade. Is the cut really that important? Oh. That's crazy. Oh, you best believe. See, in life, you can go from having a fresh, crispy cut in your teens to having the KD look. I'm talking ball spot having pushed back riding, <laughs> always dotted up brushing hair in your 20s. Mm, mm, mm. Now, fellas, <laughs> we're not here line shaming over here, my guy. Oh, no, no, no. There's what y'all rocking here, man? What is your hairstyle right now? I mean, I have long hair, you know what I'm saying? But I go for this look right here. Nah, nah. I go for this look right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I had short hair, I'm doing one of these. Yeah, no, it's not one of these. Yeah, I'm one of those. No shame in God's work. Matter of fact, just check out my man Braun. Man's hairline had the biggest comeback in the last decade, and <laughs> so can you. Now I've been blessed. God has kept my hairline intact for now. I can still yeah, grow yeah. all of my hair and have one of the best barbers one could ask for. But see, life wasn't always peaches and cream. See, in order to find your God, and fellas know what I mean, that one person that knows how to cut your hair just the way you like it. You don't even have to speak, but man knows exactly how you like it. See, that takes time and patience, and worst of all, trial and error error and that's where this story begins so for this story i'm, I'm gonna take you back back, back back to the worst Yo. barber of my life damn so it was freshman year in college now when you're in college three things are for sure first you gotta find a new group of friends trust me you know your old high school buddies your day ones your ogs well you're never gonna see them again second Facts. you need a job J O. B. Now, unless mommy and daddy sent you to school with that bag, you gonna need to find a way to make money. <coughs> Legally, that is. And third, you need <laughs> a barber. Now, yep. this is a tedious task. See, in order to get that cut, you need to connect. See, the cut game is similar to the drug game. You don't just walk to any barber shop and request a cut. Oh, no, that's crazy. You need the connect. Someone to introduce you to that guy. So one day your boy was in biochemistry class. Oh, that's right, my guy. Your boy was all about them books. So I'm sitting in class, focused on my education. Okay, I'm cabin. Your boy was busy admiring and daydreaming about thick Miss Good and mm, yeah. Damn. It's good and got that ass. Please give me three and a half minutes, maybe even four. She gonna be you know, three and a half minutes, maybe four. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to goddamn uh, Smokey and Friday. Be ready to marry a nigga. Yeah. Then the kid next to me walks up to me. Excuse me, you got an extra pan I can borrow? Oh, yeah, I got you, dog. See, the kid next to me was my guy, Tony. Now, Tony was all about that trip. Homie always had the freshest kicks, had the newest name brand clothes, but most of all, had a fresh cut. Now, Tony was a year ahead of me, which meant he knew his way around campus. Hey, I'm Tony. Oh, what's up, Tony? 
I'm Tim. Well, thanks for the pen, Tim. Hey, you coming to the party? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming through. Now, just like most schools, during the weekend, we had our first college party. Now, here's the problem. Damn. See, after a couple weeks of not getting that cut, your hair starts getting out of control, and I had yet to find a barber. Damn, my hair's looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I gotta find a new barber before the party. So the next Needs day, it. I got to class and asked my homie Tony. Yo, Tony, you know any barbers around here? Yeah, but my guy only takes appointments. Damn. Let me get his number. So Tony hands me his number, and right after class, I hit him up. Hey, how much is that fade cut? A few moments later, he hits me back. Fades are twenty dollars. Oh, hold up, twenty bones for the cut? Now I know some of you are like twenty dollars. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, I grew up paying ten dollars for a fresh cut and five for a shape up. So yep. to stay fresh, I got a cut every week. One week I got the fade, and the next I got the shape up. That's fifteen dollars every two weeks, thirty dollars every month, fifty-two weeks in a year we talking 390 dollars sounds like a good deal Yeesh. to me but 20 bones a week oh no that's over a g a year my guy so uh. i was like forget that i'm gonna find my own barber so the next day i got up nice and early skipped class and started looking for a barbershop in order to find a good spot you gotta go to the hood see hood barbershops are the best they're cheap reliable and masters of their art Facts. sure your car might be missing after you leave but you're gonna be fresh so after looking for a while i spotted a shop that looked affordable so i walked in and the place was packed which first of all is always a good thing which means they got a good reputation now every guy knows the barber rules now for the uninformed i'm gonna give you the gems rule number one if you're new to a shop and don't know where to go hey don't be surprised because your boy been thinking about going into barbering you know what i'm saying don't be surprised if you see barber videos i'm just saying wait patience is the key sit for at least 15 we to 20 see. minutes and observe do not i repeat do not respond to the first person who asks you if you need any help see this is always the trick and by trick i mean that nigga can't cut hair hey can i help you nah i'm good pretty much they're either new they don't have really good clientele you know what i'm saying or they're, they're just ass honestly that's really what it is the fam you sure my seat's open no i'm good you sure i had the fastest seat i'm sure you sure dog i'll give you half up nigga okay don't really <laughs> say that but you get the point no this <laughs> shop was different see on the first seat we had the old man usually the man has been cutting hair for a long time so he knows what he's doing on the second spot was the slow cut guy you know the type the type of bubble that takes forever to give you a cut on the third spot was the no client having kid and on the last seat was a lady. Now the first two had to be eliminated since they had too many people waiting in line. So it's now between the guy with the empty seat and the lady. Now I'm all for the ladies, but come on, my guy. I've never had a girl cut my hair. Okay, Tim, it's either this guy or shorty. Don't be surprised though. There's a lot of fire ass female barbers, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm, what should I choose? Well, at least the girl got a couple people waiting. That means she might know what she's doing. All right, I'm gonna go with shorty. Excuse me. How many do you have waiting? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. These are my last two. I'm leaving early today. Damn! Now I only have one option. The empty seat. Now since it was getting late and the party was that night, there was only one Shit. thing left to do. So I closed my eyes, looked up to the sky, and said my prayers. God, it's your boy. Now I know you're busy and all, but I need you. See, I'm about to get my first cut. And this nigga is ass. So I'm asking. <laughs> no, I'm begging. Please lay your hands on Yo. him so he can deliver a good cut. Amen. So I get up, walk to my guy, Sheesh. and took my seat. What's up, kid? What's up? So, how do you want it? Now, since I wasn't taking any chances, I knew there's only one. Listen, I'm glad my hair cut easy for now. You know what I'm saying? Half all around. Take this out. Click. Yeah, that's sight. Hey, my shit ain't that complicated. But if I cut my hair, it's a regular, what, four? Four, five on top? Do my line up, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little type, or you know what I'm saying? We cooling. Thing that he can't mess up. Can't One fuck thing shit up, bro. You cannot fuck my shit up. It's been fucked up before, but you cannot fuck my shit up. It's that easy. It doesn't require much skill and time. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let me get a shape up. You sure? I can fix the fade too. You know what? Fuck it. I'ma let my man's do his thing. I already said my prayers. What could go wrong? I'ma get you right, kid. Okay, cool. I like my guy's confidence. See, confidence goes a long way, which means my man knows what he's doing. So my guy gets the clippers and... Don't be too confident, though. Because if you're way too confident and your haircut fucked up... Hey, you ain't... you. What, what's the saying? 
You ain't practicing what you preach and you're not saying how you coming about ain't really what it is. Starts doing his thing. Tone it down. So a few moments later, the shop's phone rings and my guy goes to pick it up. Now I'm a true believer in never look at the cut until it's finished, but this was a special occasion. So I turned around, closed my eyes. Okay, Tim, this is it. Looked deep in the mirror and the cut looked decent. Oh, okay, my guy. So far, so I good. Oh, I thought it would be bad. So my guy gets back and continues cutting my hair. Then I notice something strange. See, while cutting my hair, I suddenly noticed everyone in the shop was looking towards my direction. Okay, this is weird. Why Yo. is everyone looking at my cut? Oh, damn, Tim. The cut must be like... Yo, he damn near looks cross-eyed. Looking fresh. <laughs> I think my guy's doing his thing and everyone's surprised. Then I saw the person behind me leave the shop. Okay, hold up. Why did that guy leave? Okay, maybe he went to the car real quick. Then my guy finally finished. Now, this is when I knew something wasn't right. See, when a barber finished cutting your hair, he hands you the mirror just to make sure the cut was perfect. Now, this guy was on some, oh, you already done, kid. So I was like, what you mean we done? You got a mirror? Yeah. See, here's the thing. I kind of pushed your hairline a little. Oh, no, 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 no. What you mean a little? Just a tiny bit. But fam, no one's going to notice it. Trust me. So I turned around, looked in the mirror, and oh my God. <laughs> this, yo, this, this thing is tight, bro. No way. He pushed it back all around, bro. This fool fucked up my hairline. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my cut. Damn. Hey, last resort, put on a fitted or pull up with the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Because, boy. Damn, you done. Yo, you pushed my hairline back. Now, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? Listen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll be so tight, but. I don't even want to fucking pay you. But just cuz I'm that type of person, you did your you did your job. You did your job, not correctly, but you still did something. I want half off my shit, bro. Cuz ain't no fucking way you fuck me up, boy. You're getting half your money, plain and simple. And that's me being nice, you know what I'm saying? Pay this man his money or drop this fool like he did your hairline. Give me the half. So I look deep at the guy and I said, "Yo, The fuckery, bro. Raised his shit. Oh. <laughs> Yo. That's tough. Listen to me. On my mama. I'm not paying you for jack. <gasps> Why not? Why not? Boo, you pushed my hairline back. So I turned around, walked out the door, got to my way, drove. Oh, lordy, lord. I don't blame Tim. I really don't. But me, I'm be like, listen. 50% off or boy you only getting 20 per 25% of what the fucking total is because hell no to the crib and cut all my shit off so moral Yo. of the story always trust your instincts they're a message from your soul and fam never trust the bubble with the empty seat what oh man that's crazy bro uh, getting your hairline pushed back is one of the biggest flaws. Number one, messing with someone who has black air forces to getting your hair pushed back. Uh, LMAO, this happened to my brother, and I was rolling downhills. You never fail to keep us entertained. I already know this. It's going to be a banger. Man, what are you guys doing in that situation? Man, I shaved his entire head. I would have just threw on a little fitted, boy. You know what I'm saying? Called it a day and go from there. You feel me? But yo, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.